welcome back to the channel today what I'm going to be talking about is working arms and it's, it's really about a point that you can pretty much work out anywhere you know whether you're at a gym or whether you're at home or outside in the driveway like I did. now in the house I always keep a set of 25 pound dumbbells under the bed and each morning when I wake up I do three to four sets of concentration uh, bicep curls and I do uh, over the head tricep extensions three to four sets and that's just something that I do just to push blood through the muscle and just to get my day started with, with, some, time, with some type of uh, activity uh, physical activity and that's the way I get it started and those dumbbells stay under there 24 7 and that's what I do when I wake up now today what I'm going to be doing outside in the driveway I'm going to be doing the uh, standing barbell curls on the uh, easy bar the zigzag bar whatever you want to call it and I'm also going to be doing um, lying uh, tricep extensions and also lying tricep uh, presses. Those are the things that I do when it comes down to uh, working the arms. And it's all basic stuff. So let nobody fool you that you need a extravagant type of gym to do any kind of work. That's something that you, you really don't need. The only thing you need are the weights and the uh, determination to, uh, to do the work. Now, a lot of people think, well, if you listen to the pros or whatever, uh, a lot of them hire trainers and stuff like that. While I'm not knocking trainers, uh, it, um, they are only as good when they're there. Uh, when it, when you're not using the trainer, or when whatever it is that you and the trainer got going on and, and that's over with, and the trainer is gone and you're by yourself, then it's only you. And if you never develop that that will on your own to to work out then naturally you're going to have uh, issues with maintaining what you and the trainer develop so that's why I always believe that everyone should develop the ability to train alone and to motivate themselves because if you don't develop that ability then it's going to be quite difficult for you to be able to maintain anything that you create with a trainer or with a dietitian. If you don't learn these things for yourself and develop the ability and the will to train for yourself, then you're going to keep doing the exact same loop. You're going to make whatever gains you make with the dietitian, with the trainer, and as soon as they're gone, you're going to revert back to whatever it was that you was before. And you're going to get those trainers and dietitians again and you're going to loop back around and keep doing the same exact thing when you can develop the wheel on your own and continue the process after you're through with them. You have to develop that yourself. And that's one thing that a lot of people never really talk about. You know, all of it look good. All of it, you know, you got to you can tell your friends, ah, I got a trainer. I got a dietitian. You can, you know, you can do all that good stuff if, if that's something that you can afford. But again, and I'm constantly repeating myself because this right here is so important. Without the ability to train and do the work on your own, you're gonna be spinning your wheels, going back, doing the exact same thing over and over again. That's just the way it is. But. I'm going to go ahead and get this workout over with because I have a lot of things I need to do today 
like school registration of my kids. That's a lot of something that people don't talk about, so I have to do that. And my oldest girl is uh, uh, one uh, acting classes at the uh, nearby college. So I'll be taking her to her acting classes. That's something she's uh, interested in acting. So anyway, that's what I wanted to talk to y'all about. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And again, I'll be talking to you later.